It's showtime. From the Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everybody. Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everybody. This is Matthew here again, and we are set for game 132 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $6,443,000. I had a really good game last time, winning $150,000. Televised history. Celebrity astrology. Now let's take a look at our last category. Getting Kathy. Player one, you start us off. New food products for 200. Player one, you choose. Introduced in 1982, this soft drink used the slogan, just for the taste of it. Player one. What is Coke? Could you be a little more specific, please? Player one. What is Coca-Cola? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. <coughs> Player two. What is Five Alive? Oh, that's in. No. Player three. What is Diet Coke? Oh. Precisely. Well, that was close. New food product for 400? A syrup named for this Mrs. was introduced in 1961. A pancake mix with her name on it came out in 1982. Player one. Who is Mrs. Butterworth? Definitely. New food product 600. Frank Epperson created one of these in 1923 when he pulled lemonade frozen onto a spoon out of a glass. Player one. What is a popsicle? Precisely. Pick again. Food products 800. In 1993, Hershey introduced these white and milk chocolate treats as a companion to its kisses. Player one. What are hugs? Definitely. Food products a thousand. In 1998, this Frito brand introduced Wow, a line of Olean containing chips. Player one. What is Frito Lay? Precisely. Pick again. Hoods two hundred. This little girl remarked on her grandmother's tooth size. Player one. Who is Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. Hoods 400. The English name of this hooded snake is from Portuguese for snake with a hood. Anybody? Player two? What are pythons? Good answer. Not That's pythons. Sorry. That's wrong. Anyone? What we were looking for was Spitting this. cobras. Hood 600. He stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Player one. Who is Robin Hood? <coughs> Definitely. Hood's 800. It's the British term for the hood of a car. Hopefully there are no bees in it. Oh. Player two. What is a bonnet? I just thought of that, but I hesitated. Exactly. How about getting catty for 200? In competition, this term is used for cats under eight months old. Player one. What are kittens? Yes. Uh, Hood's a thousand. Hoodman blind is another name for this game. Player one. What is blind man's bluff? Exactly. Catty 400. This breed seen here was introduced to the West around 1885. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a Siamese? Hey, you're correct. Caddy 600. It's the collective term for cats with striped or brindle coats. 
Player three. What are tabby cats? Precisely. Huh. Pick again. <coughs> I'll take televised history for 200. Videotape of the destruction of the Challenger, one of these vehicles, aired repeatedly on January 28, 1986. Player one. What is a space shuttle? Yes. Caddy 800. They can be Siberian or Tony. Player one. What is a tiger? Exactly. Caddy 1000. Answer? Ooh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Well, I'll only be trailing by much, not not a lot if I miss it, so all of it. Members of this cat breed aren't really blue, comrade, nor do they have to be from Moscow. Player one. Oh, what a rush what is Russian? Of course. Yes. USA Anagraphs 200. Yen work. Player one. What is New York? <clears throat> exactly. Anagraphs 400. On my wig. Player one. What is... Oh, Wyoming. That's the spot exactly. Anagraph 600. No gore. Player one. What is Oregon? Exactly. Anagraph's 800. Look, a ham. Player one. What is Oklahoma? Hey, you're correct. State anagraph's 1,000. Sewing trivia. Oh. Player two. What is West Virginia? Oh, exactly. yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Let's go for celebrity astrology for 200. Little Richard and Rich Little were both born under this sign of the archer. Player two, what is Sagittarius? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Celebrity astrology for 400. People born under this fishy sign, like Tommy Toon, are often slim and make excellent dancers. Player one. What is Pisces? Precisely. Pick again. Astrology 600. David Copperfield and Claudia Schiffer must have a lot in common. They share this maidenly sign. Player three. What is Virgo? Oh. Yes. Give me televised history for 400? Little was found in 1986 when Geraldo Rivera opened a vault linked to this crime boss <coughs> on live TV. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who was Al Capone? Precisely. Pick again. Celebrity Astrology 800. Roger Ebert is a Gemini, and this former partner was an Aquarius. Hmm. Their signs are supposed to be compatible. Player one. Who is Siskel? That's who we were looking for. Siskel and Ebert. Astrology 1000. Sissy Spacek was born on Christmas Day, so this is her sign. Oh. Player three. What is Capricorn? And that's what I would have said. Exactly. And my dad is born in December. Let's try televised history for 600. The whole world was watching the protests at the 1968 Democratic Convention in this Illinois city. Player one. What is Chicago? Hey, you're correct. 800. TV cameramen were just 20 feet away when the man seen here was shot by this man. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue.
Player three. Who is Ronald Reagan? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Now, last one. Off the round. ABC sportscaster Jim McKay won an Emmy for his coverage of the Olympic terrorism in this German city in 1972. Player two. What is Munich? Hmm. Exactly. <coughs> Still had a great first round. Okay, Almost outsmarted to myself on the daily double, but after I took a good look at the clue. Building up a huge lead. Player. Finally realize it. 16,200 for me, 3,200 for player three, 2,400 for player two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Bowling for vocabulary. Celebrity odd jobs. 15 minutes of fame. 20th century novels, treaties, and just to finish things off, music appreciation. How about music appreciation for 400? How Time Flies, August 16th, 1997 was the 20th anniversary of his untimely death. Player one. Who is Elvis Presley? Definitely. Music 800. He performed with Crosby, Stills, and Nash in 1970 and with Pearl Jam 25 years later. Player one. Who is young. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Precisely. Pick again. Uh, music Appreciation 12. Of Shogun, King, Rat, or Taipan, the James Clavell novel that became a musical in 1990. Player one. What is Shogun? Definitely. Music appreciation for 1600. This sparkly singer wrote, You are the sun, I am the moon. You are the words, I am the tune. Play me. Player two? Who is Gary Glitter? Uh, that's Not simple. Gary Glitter. Anyone at all? This is the Neil question. Diamond. Oh, of course. Music appreciation for two. Have I told you lately, a 1993 top 10 hit for this singer was written by Van Morrison. Player one. Who is Rod Stewart? Definitely. 20th Century oh. Novels 400. In its last chapter, the hero tells his father, love means not ever having to say you're sorry. Player two. What is East of Eden? Oh, regret. Not no. East of Eden. Is that it? Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right love point. story. Let's try it again. It's 20th Century Novels 800. Ralph survives on the island, but Piggy is less lucky in this William Golding classic. Player one. What is Lord of the Flies? Hey, you're. Coming. All right. 20th Century Novels 1200. Albert Camus' French work. L'Etranger has been translated as The Outsider, but more commonly as this. Player one. What is The Stranger? Precisely. <coughs> Pick again. 20th Century Novel 16. Norman Mailer was just 25 when this naked 1948 bestseller, his first novel, was published. Player one. What is The Naked and the Dead? Definitely. 20th Century Novels, 2000. Answer? Okay. The Daily Double. Did you make your way for please? I don't think I'm going to chance it this time. Uh, 5600. Saul Bellow's title characters include Herzog, Humboldt, and this man, the Rain King. Player one. Who is John? No. No. Nope. Bad. This is what we. Eugene wanted. Henderson. Okay. Uh, celebrity odd jobs four hundred. His early career was so rocky he had to sweep out the lion cages at the Central Park Zoo. 
Player one. Who is Sylvester Stallone? Hey, you're correct. Celebrity Odd Jobs 800. The fabulous Baker Boys might know she was a supermarket checker before she became a superstar. Anyone? No. Take a look. Here's the right Michelle one. Pfeiffer. Celebrity Odd Jobs 12. The perfect comic foil, this actor who played young Frankenstein was once a fencing instructor. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player three. Who is Gene Wilder? Oh. Hey, you're correct. <coughs> hmm. Bowling for vocabulary for 400. A work stoppage worth 10 points. Player one. What is a strike? Precisely. Pick again. Bowling 800. It can be a rainwater channel or a bad place for your ball. Player one. What is a gutter? Definitely. A uh, bowling 12. An incrimination of an innocent person. Ten are in a standard game. Player one. What is a frame? Precisely. Excuse me, folks. Pick again. A uh, bowling 1600. A type of cat or a building where a cat might bowl. Oh, no. What is an alley? I hit it too early, and, I, yes. and that was what I was going to say. I'll take treaties for 400. Of the five treaties signed at the end of World War I, this one with a French name was signed with Germany. Player one. What is Versailles? Precisely. Pick again. Bowling for vocabulary 2000. The head of a crime ring found right in front. Player one. No daily double here, unfortunately. What is the kingpin? Definitely. Trees 800. The Constitution stipulates that the president makes treaties with the advice and consent of this government body. Player one. What is the Senate? Exactly. Treaties 12. Until the 18th century, European treaties were generally written in this language of the Romans. Player one. What is Italian? Oh, we're no. no. I second guess. What is Latin? Yep. That's it. You do know your history. <clears throat> I'll try 15 minutes of fame for 400. William Figueroa's moment came in 1992 when he spelled this tuber for Dan Quayle. Player one. What is potato? Exactly. 15 minutes of fame, 800. In 1968, Valerie Solanas became famous for 15 minutes after she shot and wounded this artist seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who is Andy Warhol? Hey, you're correct. 15 minutes of fame, 1200. Hello. This clone sheep's name became a household name in early 1997. Player one. What is Dolly? Precisely. Hello, Dolly. Pick again. 15 minutes of fame, 1600. In the 1970s, a purported will made by this man left millions to former gas station operator Melvin Dumar. Player one. Who is Howard Hughes? He's the one we were looking for, yes. 15 Minutes of Fame, 2000. Oliver Sipple gained fame in 1975 by grabbing Sarah Jane Moore's arm as she tried to shoot this U.S. president. Player one. Who is Gerald Ford? Precisely. Pick again. Treaty 1600. The 1979 Israel-Egypt Peace Treaty called for the return of this peninsula 
to Egypt. Player one. What is Sinai? That's it. You do know your history. Treaty 2000. A concordat is an agreement between this religious leader and a sovereign nation. Player one. Who is the Pope? Exactly. Celebrity Odd Job 1600. Answer. Okay. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Kind of took a hit on the last one, so I'm going to go 3,000 only. This late comedian with the first name Sam was once a Pentecostal preacher. Player one. <sighs> Who is Sam Freed? I don't think so. That is no. incorrect. Take a look. Sam Here's Kinnison. The right response. Last one. Here's the final answer on this board. He used to be a cab driver in London. Now he's Bond. James Bond. Player two. Who is George Lazenby? Good answer, but not sorry. George Lazenby. Anyone at all? Player three. Who is Pierce Brosnan? Oh. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm not going to win as much as I did yesterday, but you know what? I don't care. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead. 30,000 for me. 8,000 for player three. Minus 400 for player two. You can't continue with us in Final Jeopardy. It's Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have just a few seconds to decide on your wager. European patron saints. saints. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. She would have 16,000. That's why I'm only going to go for seven. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. Legend says Saint Rule brought this saint's relics to the coast of Fife in 368 A.D. Who is Saint Andrew? Again, I'm trying to be a little less dependent on the cloister site, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it entirely. It is my channel. I can do what I want. Saint Patrick? No. Incorrect. How much did it cost you? Everything. Player one. Saint player Andrew. Two. That's right. Yes. And your wager was seven thousand thirty-seven thousand dollars. A lot less than last time, but I don't Congratulations care. Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Bye, Alex. I believe that's six point four eight million dollars. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. Let's take a look yep. at your stats. So a little less than than last time, but I don't care because you know I kind of had a had some second thoughts on some of these clues in the double jeopardy round, and uh, that's fine. I mean, regardless if I win six figures or five figures or even four on occasion, if things don't go particularly well, if if it's a win, I'm happy. So. 6.48 million, 37,000 a day. That's a good game. Only using the cloister side on a couple of categories, but I don't care. I don't care what others say. I don't care what others think. It's my channel. I can do what I want. 
kind of my own mantra I live by. So, that's 132 wins, and I'll see you all for game 133. So, thanks guys, and remember, subscribe, got my recap of Las Vegas to do for Super Duper, that I'm going to do later this week. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, and remember, subscribe, see you all for game 133.